Okay, so you got this motherboard, and if you're like me, you've been racking your brain about why you can't get into your BIOS. And so, I have the black screen when I try to get into the BIOS, and it just hangs on the black screen. So, I've been looking online everywhere, trying to figure out what the problem is, and I finally figured out how to fix it. Okay, so this motherboard has a really cool feature. So it has a backup BIOS. So if we come over here, this is the board. Okay, hopefully you can see how it's oriented. And then we're going to zoom in over here. Let's see if I can zoom in correctly here. down over here near where your buttons are on the board there's going to be a little switch see the switch with the A and the B on it and it says BIOS on the board so this board genius has a backup BIOS so what you're gonna do is turn your PC off, move that switch, this one right there, move it over to B, boot up your PC, and voila, you'll be using the backup BIOS, and your home screen, the motherboard screen, will come up, <clears throat> and it'll say you press F2 to enter the BIOS. Bingo. So, Thankfully, this worked for me. You enter the BIOS under the B setting on the switch, and then you can uh, reprogram the A BIOS chip, you see the two chips there, with the B BIOS backup. Okay, so once you go in there, you go into uh, the BIOS and you select BIOS backup and it will it'll say B to A so you back up B to A <laughs> save all that it'll reboot and then you shut the PC down and then you switch the BIOS back to A like I did and then it will operate normally so I hope that all made sense that this board has a backup BIOS chip and it was a lifesaver because I'm going to upgrade upgrade the bootable drive and I need access to the BIOS just in case something goes haywire. So that's how you get your splash screen back when you're booting up your computer and trying to get into the BIOS instead of the black screen when you're pressing F2 on this motherboard. After you flip that switch and you have a successful boot up with the rock welcome screen, um, you can boot back into the BIOS and do the secure backup UEFI B to A. So this will take the backup chip and copy that to the primary BIOS chip. And then after that is done, you should be able to switch back to the A position in the BIO switch on the motherboard. This is what you'll see after the backup is finished. And we will hit OK, Enter, and that will reboot the system.